Good evening, it's your nerdy suburban farmer, Dej. Today with me, I have a guest. I have my dad, and he's going to be doing a little Q&A for Father's Day. This is our Father's Day special. So I'd like to introduce you to my dad. Say hello. Hello there. <laughs> How are you? So um, one of the questions I have was, Gardening and farming was a big part of your life growing up. So tell me about growing up on the farm in North Carolina. Growing up on the farm in North Carolina, Desu, was a great experience. Many things that I came involved in, and many things that I was not allowed to get involved in. And the most important thing that uh, I was involved with the whole farm, the, the uh, what we had, we raised uh, peanuts, corn, uh, soybeans, tobacco, uh, and it was a, it was a great, we made a living, and what was beautiful about it, uh, we lived on, we had our own farm, but the most experience that I had was watching my uh, mother and father prepare for uh, the season that we may be able to eat fresh food and all that, and we had a garden, and we had a, a garden, the garden was about two acres. <laughs> That's not a garden. <laughs> Look, you had a big farm and a little farm. That's not a <laughs> well, you would say, but to us, it was nothing because we had uh, all the equipment to uh, to cultivate the uh, the garden, and we had uh, and uh, the things that we had like uh, uh, white potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, cabbage, collars, uh, rape, and. Uh, butter beans and snap beans and uh, we go we didn't have okra we had field peas we had black eyed peas and uh, and so for corn that we the corn we raised on the farm was horse corn and that was it wasn't no it wasn't sweet at all but um, when we got ready to raise sweet corn we 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 would go and put down to the C uh, C A X C X store and buy the uh, the sweet corn, and we would plant that. But we didn't plant no more than three or four rows of it. Okay. Okay. But uh, with the uh, horse corn, we had something like 30 acres, and that soybeans, uh, what you say, uh, about 30, 40 acres. Peanuts, we had uh, about 25 acres. Tobacco, which was the money crop, was about four acres. Okay. All right. And uh, uh, with the other things, uh, that we had, it was a great experience, and I wouldn't take anything from living on the farm. Uh, we we had our own chickens. When, my, when we were ordered, we were ordered our chickens from Cincinnati, Ohio, and we would get the uh, order them from the radio, and we never uh, bought. Mm, yeah. You placed chicken orders on the radio, uh -huh, and they were they were mailed to us. When it got to us, some had some had passed on. <laughs> well, you order them online, and the same thing happens now. So and, it's okay. And so uh, we, we never, uh, we always order two or three hundred. Mm -hmm. and, and gee whiz, we had so many eggs that we didn't know what to do. And so many roosters on the yard. <laughs> so when I we ever wanted to have chicken, we would, my mother would say, we'd go out and catch a chicken and catch a rooster. And by the cone on the head, we could tell the roosters. You know, Mom's life was beautiful. And I wouldn't take anything for it. I, if I was younger, I always tell my wife that I, if I was 20 years younger, I would buy a farm. <laughs> and maybe that's what you, and you should do. That's why you're trying to get me, me to buy a bigger buy farm. You're buy a bigger farm. So I'll, look into it. I'm starting small. I'll start small, <laughs> and then if I can handle this, I can get bigger. But let's go back for a second. When you talk about the different acres and everything that you had, was this something, just to clarify, were you sharecropping or was where was this just family property? What was it all? This was uh, most uh, family property. We did uh, rent land from other people and, and, and did that uh, sharecropping. I call it because the land belongs to someone else. But right. my mother had her own farm and my father a mother had a farm, but it was smaller than that was a two acres. Uh, yes, no, that was the one. It was a big farm. It was, I said, it was about thirty acres. But oh, my okay. mother had something like, oh, uh, oh, 
60 acres, and, um, wow. uh, and that was including woodland. So we really were independent. I grew up in, was independent. Uh, that's why we didn't have to do anything if we wanted to. We didn't have to go and work out to make money. Our money came in right from our farm and the labor we and my mother, but we wanted to go out and, and work someplace else like the other two kids. It was just to be in the field with them, you know, and they would allow us to do it if we wanted to. But other than that, uh, uh, we was raised independent from Sheriff. Growing something in the backyard that was special to you, the Kushaw. Tell me about oh, the Grandma and Kushaw. Oh, that's the way. Oh, my, we, my, my mother would, 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 would raise the Kushaw and we like to look at the kush because we always said it had a uh, gooseneck, uh -huh. and and we and my mother would raise the kush to get um, about oh hey twice my head size and what you said and what was so amazing she would we would go out and pull the kush and she would she would cut it up then peel it out of the outside shell and then put it in water. And what to say, and boil it, and soften it, and then add the sugar, uh, the uh, flavor, uh, the butter, and milk into it, and we made kushaw pie. And they were, and it, 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 to me, it tastes most like an apple pie, which it wasn't, but uh, that was a big thing in the South, kushaw pie. So kushaw pie mm -hmm. is a big thing because yeah. I hadn't heard of kushaw, and I look, I almost thought mommy was saying the same thing. I said it can't be named kushaw. <laughs> <laughs> It really is that. So I'm growing two of them this year in my yard to see how I can grow it to kind of pass on some of that tradition of things that you used to do. And you're growing a peach tree. Oh, yes. Um, now, that is something that I would never uh, uh, dream of ever having. Uh, uh, my great, my grandmother's sister, they had pear trees and great harbors and things like that. But I never, we were never into that. But um, I just I was looking around, and and Janice told me to come to come with her to pick some uh, uh, peaches, and I went with her, and I looked at her, and I said, "My goodness, these peaches! Why don't how they uh, in the backyard? We had room. There was a pear tree back then. Why don't I put a peach tree? But uh, you more of a peach girl than I am. Your peach tree look better than mine. One of them. Just one of them. <laughs> but it, one looks nice. That, uh, can, I'm new. Can I ask you a question? Why mine's falling off? I'm not an expert. <laughs> That's right. Well, we both not experts. So we, we learning together we with this. Sitting in that house watching my <laughs> westerns at time, and when I and I tell you, uh, 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 I I named the tree uh, my mom, and uh, uh, and I, I I tell you. Um, and I am really not doing my part with my mom. I don't go out and see her. And that's so she, she thinks she done lost her son. Oh, that's right. We gotta ex okay. explain to everybody what my mom means. That's, uh, that's my mother. Uh, we call him uh, my mom because uh, when we was growing up, we just, we used to call them by my mother and father by their first name. And uh, one of our neighbors came over one day and we were calling them B and Siri. And she said, she said, what are y'all, who are you talking to? We said, we're talking to Siren and B down. She said, that's your mother and father. And uh, it, we said, well, we know that. You call them my mama and my daddy. And we picked it up. <laughs> we picked it up. She said that we had to call them my mom and my daddy. That's and why. that's how we called them my mom and my daddy. And all, all, and all whole, one of us called. This we, whole time, I just thought y'all called them my mom. No. If my, not saying, y'all so country. <laughs> we said my mom. I thought y'all were saying my mom and y'all saying my mom. <laughs> so I never that is knew. One, that is one of the things that how we picked up from them. But I want to say that uh, you have beautiful grandparents. As for they would try to fulfill it too for us. And if you lay, if you lay all, uh, laying all jokes aside, and, and at 12 years old, I was wearing, wearing flow shine shoes. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know about flow shine shoes. <laughs> no, no that was the top of the line, man. <laughs> but, but I tell you right now, uh, I am very proud. Uh, when I go back there and look at the your garden, how you are, uh, what you say, you are farming. And then you, and the garden came after the chickens, and I told you it's a beautiful thing. The garden came before the chickens. I've been gardening for five years. I get mixed up.
Maybe I won't come around enough. Maybe you ain't enough. You ain't enough. <laughs> well, the, uh, those chickens are just like our chickens. Very trained. And they, they, when you see, you think you have food, here they come. They just come. Uh, come, just come. Think you but what food. you are missing, Adeshala, I'm going to tell you what you are missing. You are missing in having a rooster on the yard. I cannot have a rooster well, in this town. Well, I tell you, you be glad you can't have him, have him in this town because roosters claim their territory. Yeah, and I don't need and, that. And let me tell you, if you get it, and they think you bothering the uh, they hens on their territory, they will, uh, cause we were small, they will run you and fight you. Have those tufts uh, on on their legs, uh, they, they, they look, they call it their weapon. They had the three the spur. tools, the spur, and let me tell you, they know how to use it. Oh yeah, that's mm. built for combat. Yeah, I mean it's <laughs> combat too. You think you're in Vietnam? <laughs> but we we had a glorious time on the farm, and it's beautiful. And I how I watch you and Dave, how you you both is enjoying your gardening and your chickens back there. It really makes me feel good, and it brings back old times to me and make me want to do it all over again. I was just telling your mother on the way here today, I said, I, I would like to go back and, I could go back and have the children all over again, and what you say, and start all over again. Hey, starting all over again may be rough now, but we- Yeah, not at 80. <laughs> 80 years old, I'm not two. Not at 80. I'm two. <laughs> you two, just enjoy your, your garden. So. Last thing, what do you have in your garden? We talked about the peace tree, so what do you have in your garden? Don't include mama's garden. Uh, right. What do you have in your garden? In my garden, I have uh, white potatoes that are not organic, and I have uh, sweet potatoes. Well, did you throw something in there to make it non-organic? Yes, I put 51010 fertilizer. Your fertilizer was non-organic. Uh -huh, okay, uh -huh. so. And fertilizer, 51010, I got that from my father and mother. That's what they used in their garden. Okay. So Five, just, ten, ten was a coin for Eliza. So you just have white potatoes, sweet potatoes, and a peach tree. That's, that's all, all I have. Doing. That's enough right now. For, for right now, yes. <laughs> all them collars got ate up last year. Oh, so this yes. Year, just start small and then get bigger get and see what bigger. you get. And that's where we're going to go from there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. Thank Daddy. you. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love, Love you, too. you. Love you, baby.